Fantastic. That sounds like a great piece of advice for everybody competing. And here are the standings after night number one. Florida International up top with 118 points. SMU just behind. North Texas kind of a surprise third. If you look at Rice at the bottom in seventh with 34 points. They don't have a diving team and they also were disqualified early in the first relay last night. We are ready to go already with the 500 free final. And we are underway at the bottom of your screen. In lane number one, Sadie Covington of ECU, Elizabeth Myers of Rice in lane two. In lane three, Shannon Campbell of Rice, Ella Dyson of Rice. Yes, another Rice out at the best time in the free lunch. She's in lane four. In lane five is another Rice out. Amelia Kane, followed by Emily Hamlin in lane six. Our line, Cortois and Davies of FIU is in lane number seven and up at the top on lane number eight. Uh, for the uh, for this one is going to be Kurt Ford. Sophie Kurt Ford at IU as the women's 503 is underway. This is the consolation of the 500 freestyle. So the freestyle consolations here in the 500. Trying to see who comes up with points here as well because Smacker, this does go toward the standings, of course, is trying to pile up as many standings as you can for your team. After prelims, you can kind of see that out going in the final as far as best and worst case scenario. Of course, in those scenarios, you're often scoring it as if a DQ is impossible. So those are kind of the outliers on these events. But for example, Rice had one somewhere in the console final and five in the final of this event. So it's a huge point scoring event for them, even if they were to fall in the bottom of those teams. So you can kind of lock it in after prelims. So in lane number seven, you're getting a look at Bar Erling's daughter, Isaac Garner of FIU. We're at 459.17 in the prelims, and she is just out ahead. And it looks like the bottom of your screen, lane number two, Sydney Mullen of Tulane, second fastest right now in this particular consolation heat. In the 500 freestyle, what was your strategy in swimming here? A lot of people do it as 150, 150, and then a 150 and then the final 50. Mm. So, you know, you have the 450 and the final 50. So that's one way to do it. I mean, you can do 200, 200, 100. It's, it's not just going to be broken up by a distance and whether your strengths lie in the front or back half. But these ladies are repping out just out of their 30s. So that's where you want to be if you're going to break five minutes, of course. And right now it's been a good heat in the middle of the pool. But like you said, lane seven out there on everyone. Erling's daughter, Ida's guard, as they make the turn for lap 15 on this stretch. This they is a really tough event, but getting to the 400 mark is a big deal. Like, you get to the final 75 and you feel like you're finally downhill. You can make it, and right now, everybody on it. A sub five minute pace. They start to come down the stretch. And still is far Erling's number. I just got it for FIU out in front. And in lane two, Sydney Mullen. I just got it. Makes that turn. 
does look as though maybe Cindy Mullen might be gaining on her just ever so slightly. About a three-quarter of a body length lead, perhaps. Sydney Mullen trying to charge hard. I just started trying to hold her off. Here comes Mullen at the wall. It is a dead heat, and I just guard ends up with the win by about a quarter of a second over Sydney Mullen. A great race to the finish, and in third, Kaylee Turner in lane number one from the University of North Texas. Here's another look, an incredible race on the bell lap. You hear that bell going off and kick it in for the final 50, an outstanding final 50 by Tulane, Sydney Mullen, and the Panthers get it done on that one. And the entire heat was way faster than this morning. So you're seeing the top six times under 458. And coming into this, it was only one time under 458. So they all improved on their final swims. And a lot of those times would have gotten into the top heat, which there's you know, an auto scoring on eight being scored above number nine. So this is a learning moment for some of those people that really had outstanding finals that they were able to match that in the prelims that they could score their teams more points.